Hi guys, this is Yodo Bros back with another video. In this video, I'll be showing you what to do if you want to play Fortnite Battle Royale in your unsupported mobile device. This is a 100% working trick and we have all been there we, in which we had tried to officially download Fortnite from the Epic Games launcher but it didn't work. So, this is a 100% working trick. I also tried many fixes and out of that, out of that the last one worked and I'm pretty happy with that. I wanted to play Fortnite Battle Royale and I have 4 GB of RAM and a 64 bit processor. You can see in this video I it was shot by GoPro Hero 7. I have Vivo Y95. We can play in all almost all Vivo devices which have almost 3 GB at least 3 GB of RAM and a good nice processor. I mean a 64 bit processor. I tried to install Fortnite Battle Royale in my devices and at last I thought that I couldn't do it. It was impossible for a unsupported device to be played on it but yes I got to the point that I can now play that. So what you're gonna do is open your Google Chrome and then type the link that is given in my description box. You can find it right below in the description box and you have to paste it on your Google or any search engine that you have then open the link and then you need to download three files one is the f edited fortnite apk and you have to download it and then you have you have to download the first one at the f at this moment you have to download the first one wait for it to get downloaded completely after it is downloaded click on it and install it After the app is installed, open the app and then install the remaining downloaded files that are required. So, but before that, you have to log in into your account, Epic account. So I am doing it right now. I'll be blanking it because I don't want you to see that. But that's called privacy, dude. So I am just entering my passwords right now and email addresses. Sorry for taking time. You can skip the video for 20 seconds if you want. It's now redirecting me into the Epic Games and then it will start right now. It is asking me to install a almost 3 GB download files so I am downloading it right now and I will resume the video after that it is downloaded after it is downloaded you will come to an interface like this which will say you can play but don't play it uh, don't tap on play because that doesn't work it says when you are going for matchmaking in an online server almost all whole of the game is online when you tap for playing any game modes like solos, duo, squads, it says that corrupted data files are found in the game and then you can't play that. I was stuck in that problem for ages, literally. And then after I figured it out and then I played it like I am doing right now. So download first Zar Zarachiever. I've downloaded it. You can search in Google Play and I've given the link in the description too. Also download the second link that says Epic Games Fortnite 11.5.11.50 of Epic Games. You have to download the one which is Fortnite 11.50 that is edited APK and the other one that is Fortnite 11.50 that is from Epic Games that's the original one. The downloaded data can be found in the android and then you need to go to data to find the downloaded data and then you have to cut it and then paste it on the android android folder that's located on the first then click on paste that's located on the top after it's pasted you need to go back
something you need to go delete fortnite don't worry none of your files will get deleted because you copied and pasted that so if you followed all the things that i did then it won't get deleted please please pay attention because it may delete all the files that you had downloaded earlier so if you have done it as i had done it and demonstrated it you are if you're doing correctly then nothing of your files will get deleted Then you need to install the un um, that's the original Fortnite APK, which was of the Epic Games, which was original. You need to download it, open the archiver once again, go to Android, go copy that folder com.epicgames.fortnite, cut that, then paste it on the data folder once again from where it came. And see if you can see that logo of the Fortnite, then you're good to go. You have done everything right. But you need to install the correct APK that was of the original Epic Games. Fortnite of the original Epic Games. You need to sign in once again to your Epic Games account and then you can get to this type of interface when it says that it's connecting. Now it says that you can play but if you try it tap on play then it says that your device is not supported and it's below the specs that are supported for fortnite then go to scroll or go tap on item shop then open fortnite and the game will totally run fine you can play any matches you want i'm so happy to find this fix and i'm playing this game regularly on my android right now i wanted to share it this fix with you guys so almost everything that we need had to do is done and now all we have to do is wait this item shop loading takes a lot I mean it takes around one minute so you have to be patient for that I don't want to skip this part because some people may think that I am uh, down downloading Fortnite on another supported version but believe me believe me people this is really the Fortnite played on an unsupported device this is not a fake video I have come across many fake videos and I tried that and maybe they were not fake they were meant to be done but I couldn't get them I couldn't do the way they did and I messed up everything and then I couldn't play Fortnite but after this fix I played everything fine on my phone and now I am playing Fortnite as you can see. The game is starting right now. After it stays starting now the game will start as normal you can play the same game like which you played in your PC, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch or anything like that. The game starting right now. You need to, uh, you're in the item shop right now. You need to go to left to go to the main menu and then you can play any game you want and then happy playing. Thanks for watching. Please try this fix and tell it to me that it did it work or not. And if it did, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank